All right, everybody. 609 Collector here. Doing it again. This time, I'm going to be uh, taking apart Dark Beast. The reason I'm doing this figure is because I just got back into Marvel Legends, and buying this figure, I realized he was super different. Just what they put into this figure is actually really, really awesome. There's some things I noticed that I really like, and I think that the figure is just amazeballs. I love Age of Apocalypse. It was a great time to get back in. And um, the new Retro Spidey line um, just has me like, yes. Because, you know, I kind of stepped back from Marvel Legends before. and was just sticking to Spider-Man. But, you know, as I've mentioned before, I've downsized my entire collection. And all my Marvel Legends got sold except for the three I took apart in that one video. Actually, I think I bought one of those to take apart in that video. I bought Beta Ray Bill. But what I'm going to do here... Is I'm going to take apart Beast within reason. I'm going to boil and pop. So I'm not going to do anything where I have to crack the figure. We're just going to heat it up and I'm going to see what I can pull apart with this figure being hot. All right. Just so you know, if you want to try, I'm going to start by taking off the head. Why? Because it's the easiest part. Um, I don't know. I think this piece in here. It's probably connected at the top and down here by a little peg. Um, so I may or I may not be able to pull these out. You know, I'm going to try and pull the shoulders out. A lot of people ask me if you can heat and pop shoulders out. So I'm going to try and do that. But um, you'll see that most of the figure, the hard part, the hard plastic parts are going to always be like the torso and uh, the hip but aside from that everything else should just get really really soft from the water and we're doing this you're gonna see uh i don't know after about a minute that mm. it'll become pretty soft Couple bubbles coming up because couple bubbles. And the water seeping into all the cracks in the joints. I'm just gonna let it sit in there for a minute. Uh I don't know if I want to take apart anybody else after this, uh Marvel Legends wise. I might if I can get a body, I will take apart X Man. Uh Nick Gray. Uh and I may do a Power Rangers. Duh, you know, just uh because it's Hasbro, people have it, people might be considering. Well, I don't really know if anyone's going to kit bash a Power Ranger. <laughs> but I might do it just to see what the body's like. It's a little different from Marvel Legends. And then it's kind of not. Because I feel like some of the articulation from there has been adapted. Like getting the... Um... Let's actually reach over and grab one. So where your Marvel Legends typically has just this, the back and forth there, and this, and the Power Rangers, you know, guinea pigs, stop it. But the uh, this guy has that twisting torso, and this up here, but no, none in the waist. You know, you're seeing that I think Spider-Man has this. So they saw how effective it was here and how people really liked it. They put it in Spider-Man, and Dark Beast has it as well. Right, now I'm going to try and do this out here over the map because I think it's far enough away that people can see. I'm just going to shake out some water and you can see, man, we're very wobbly. So right away, you can pop off feet. I have a pencil. If you look here, if we focus there, two peg holes on the feet. Anytime you see a peg and there's one side bigger than the other, You'll know what side to push from. You'll always push from the smaller side because it doesn't make sense to try and pull a big old peg out of a small hole. And this isn't hard enough. I'm going to get a hair comb. Hmm. Can we do it? No, we can't. I really don't want to mess this up, so... 
That being the case, we can go the alternate way. And instead of pulling the pin out, you can pop the pin off the foot. Pop the foot off the pin. <laughs> yeah, that's what I wanted to say. There we go. There. So that's how you would take the foot apart. Still kind of warm. All you had to do was pull that. And you see it popped right off of there. Again, two pins. Just pull to the side. Popped right off. Pin for the upper thigh. Gonna try and keep him... Uh, <laughs> keep him together so that if I do put him back together I know what came from what flathead screwdriver a little bit of pressure this is a method if you don't want to push the pin you can just pop the pins off like I did with the foot there you go you're just going to pull out to the side so that the pin is loose in there the hands don't really need much because you know they come off. Uh, let's go all the way. Let's take this one off too. And the reason I'm doing this is because he's kind of a bigger figure and a little on the thicker side. Now the arms aren't stick to the legs. So as you saw, I just pull that arm off real quick. And if anyone's just not really following, there's not much going on here. It's really just prying this guy apart. Sorry if that was a little out of focus. But look. You just get in there. Boom. Now I, I know some people don't have thumbnails because they're fingernail biters or they just clip the shit out of them. But that's all I need is a fingernail. So you would easily be able to take a flathead screwdriver. Put it in there. And all I did was separate that until the pin slid out. And then you can pull that off. Alright. Mm, let's see about... I'm very curious about this hip here. We're going to drop Beast back in the water for a minute. So other than this waist articulation that I mentioned, you know, they take out the hip rotation, which is fine with me, actually, because you rotate, you know, you can rotate the upper body just fine and get those twists and not break up lines, but um, I did notice that they did the hip differently. Instead of it, instead of the peg just coming straight out from the hips, zoom in. you'll see it. If you can, it comes down at an angle. It goes down this way. An angle, and then it goes over, which allows Beast to have more range up there. Yo, that thing is like a freaking eight ounce lion back there, just making mad noise. I don't know what the hell they're talking about. Probably just like I didn't feed them enough. See if I can. Now, this is usually the harder part. I feel like this is um two pieces of plastic that's put together around here. So usually I don't go as far as to pop this off. And like I said, I'm just gonna boil and pop today. I'm not gonna try and do anything too crazy. Hopefully I can get this part off up top without breaking anything. Okay, that question. Can you pull the shoulders out? Everyone always asks, yes. So that's what beast shoulders look like. Nothing crazy pressure. This is actually a really cool design. You see the, it's a longer peg that goes into the butterfly joint, but the, the, the mushroom part is only that, that far in. Can I do here? I feel like, yes, we can. Now this is a soft rubber piece, so I'm not getting too crazy on it. I'm going to turn it this way, inside out, because so, I don't want to damage it, and see if I can uh, 
what I gotta do to get her out of there. There you see, the shoulder's a mushroom. Okay, this is a soft rubber piece. I don't really recommend pulling this out because without cracking the torso, you might have a problem getting it back in, but you can take it out. I'm not going to because as you can see, you're gonna be like, what's on the bottom? You didn't show us the bottom. The bottom is more of the same. You know, I'm stretching it now. But in there, there's a cavity, and that's where it goes. It's mushroomed in, and... Right there. The light's flashing in there, but that circle is the hole where it goes in the top. And you can see here, it goes in the bottom. Shine a little light on the situation. I get my peg flat. Let's see if I can get it line back up. You see, you may not want to go back in the hole now without opening the torso. Let it heat up and it might slide back in there on its own. I'm not really tripping because I bought two of these so I can take one apart. And if I don't feel like putting it back together, I don't have to. I'll just sell it and someone who wants to do whatever with it will do whatever with it. If they were planning to do a custom, they were going to take it apart anyway. Why don't you work with now, Beast? Yeah, I think he's pretty close to getting back in there on his own. I'll help you out a bit. I don't know if it's fully in there, but it's rotating around. For the most part, in a pretty good circle. I didn't realize my beast had red on him. I guess he was under the head. I didn't even notice. All right, cool. Um, now, the only thing I really think I want to try and take off now is I want to see what kind of ball peg we're working with in the center here. Let's see if I can do this with light pressure without uh, too much force. Just to expose what kind of joints. I'm curious as to what they used in here. I'm sure it's just a ball peg, but somebody I watched a video and this master <laughs> he went in from the side here and he got to the the square part that locks the torso in. And I watched him take the figure apart from there. And I thought that was really clever and interesting. He did it without cracking the figure. He was able to wiggle his way in through here. So I want to see if I can try it. I don't know if it'll work, though. I think Beast might be a lot bigger. I don't know if he'll be willing to work for me. Very, very stiff in the torso. I'm going back with some hot water, but that's that's what we're looking like there. And now this is <laughs> this is all one piece down here. So if you wanted to crack the bottom, you'd be taking them to hurt all of this instead of just the lower waist. But I think that's it. I don't really think I want to go anymore into it because it seems like it really just doesn't want to crack i'm going to put it in the water give it a little bit more time water's still hot enough let it relax a little bit more and then give it the old college try you know what i'm saying for science oh wow well. That actually fit on there. <laughs> nice and snug. Snap it and everything. <laughs> uh, yes, Trini didn't see that coming. The horror. So, yeah. So far, boil and pop. You can get down to a torso. You could even pull these out if you wanted to. But putting these back in might end up being a problem. 
everything else is pretty easy but if you go all the way to pulling out these you're gonna have yourself a bit of an issue um but even here you can still get access to this joint 360 all the way i think that these are so long eh, no nah, not really that's not really any point because you'd hit the back anyway but These pretty much make it through the whole figure. That's a nice bit of articulation. Where are we? As far as boiling, pop, pop, pop. Nah, it's a stubborn girl. I'm not really getting in there, and I don't want to pull. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it here. I'm gonna call the feet because I feel like this is two pieces of plastic glued over the peg. Since I now have the light on, you'll see in there. This is carved out a lot up top because, you know, this is a pretty thick figure. They have the space, but inside, here we go, down at an angle and then over. So it's like down at 40, it's out a little bit, down at 45, and then over at 45. So it allows for this hip to get all the way up there and Beast has that space so he can get more of a split. This figure is actually pretty cool. I didn't do it before I pulled him apart, but because of this, you can get his hips down and out and get him in like a sitting position, cross leg. But that's it for Dark Beast. All right. Thanks for checking this out. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe, notification bell. If you guys like seeing me take figures apart, which I know you do because nobody's like, oh man, I want to spend the money taking my own figure apart, then just, uh, you know, comment down there. Like, yeah, I like this. Please do more. And I will try and do more. And when I take figures apart, if I don't feel like putting them back together, I'm just going to sell the pieces. So that's probably what I'm going to do. But real quick, let's try and put Beast back together. Here's this foot. This foot back together. See, this is what I was talking about. If you've never seen me do one of these videos before, the pegs usually have a small side and a big side. So you know how to put them back. You know the small side would be there. The big side would be here. Made that bad boy. And then a lot of times, if you need a little extra pressure, you can put it down like on the table. Put it through. And there, like, I'm getting opposition from the other side. I'm going to down I'm gonna put the flat head on top and there you go your joints back together that trick will work for this this might be a little bit more difficult but if you're ever getting to that point and you're like man this is uh getting hard put your pieces back in water as long as your water's hot you leave it in there for a minute and you'll be good even the knee joints you'll see Big side, small side. Just try to pay attention when you're putting your figures back together. Like I try to take it apart and keep one leg over there, one leg over here. And then when you're putting it back together, you don't want to get confused. So big peg there, small peg there. Rock them, sock them. For this, <laughs> this is one of those times for the reassembly where you heat it up and it might be easier to go this way. But the problem is this is a small peg in a big hole. I mean, it's a long hole. I think the hole's a lot longer than the length of the peg. So, getting it there, pushing it in, but you may not go all the way through. So, sometimes having something that you can use as a punch or a push works. Just be careful. You know, you don't want to go too crazy because you'll scar up your thing. But you, I think it's going through kind of, giving me a little bit of guff. You would put a finger here, just push from the other side. And again, for this, make sure your part is hot. If your part's hot, then you won't have issue. And you know what, actually? Beast, you got... I didn't learn to think of that. This isn't molded, is it? What is going on here? they do here this isn't an articulated piece i guess they glued this 
Yeah, this looks like a, this isn't a rotation piece. So this isn't really something that's going to come apart easily. I feel this is glued. I think a boot articulation is not really a boot articulation. Okay, I see. I guess they did it because they could mold this in this plastic, this kind of shiny metallic, you know, pearl plastic that they did. And put it there, but then that doesn't make sense because they molded this into one piece of plastic and just painted it two different colors. So now I'm curious as to what color this one actually is. This is probably... Can you look in there? Are you seeing it with me? This looks like it's molded in this and then painted in that color. Who knows? Hmm, now it's a mystery. But for some reason, this isn't one piece. This is two pieces. I mean, if you look at this, same thing. It goes from this, what's supposed to be metal pants. Who wears metal pants? Into fur. And this goes metal pants to fur. But it's two pieces that are, it seems as if they're glued. Because you're getting a rotation and I can't easily pull it apart. There we go. Boom. That did it. All right, so that's it. I'm going to say it again. Um, if you like the video, please hit like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, comment, and, and don't comment with, I can't see what you're doing, all right? Because I did this, I did this here for you people. I can't see what I'm doing. Right, Beast? We did it for the little people, for the humans. Mutant supremacy. Mutant supremacy. Yeah, you're still going back together pretty easy.